Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I greet everyone in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My name is Saint Grace. I trust the Lord Jesus that you are doing very well. Today, I'm not preaching, but I just want to address something. And I'm going to stand on the word of God to address it. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 16 to 19 says, These six things do the Lord hate. Yes, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devise wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaks lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Amen. Beloved of God, when you are in a church, you are in a ministry, and you have the calling of God to do something outside the church. You need to, you need and must live peacefully and amicably. Amen. If you hear the voice of God or someone prophesies on you that God has chosen you in this end time to do whatever for him. Don't leave that church that you are in. Don't leave it creating chaos, mess, you know, telling people to follow you out into whatever thing that you are going to establish. If you act in that manner, speak in that manner, do anything of that sort, that is unrighteousness. That is unrighteousness and the hand of God will never be upon you. Regardless of the gift of the Spirit of God that has been given to you, the grace of God will not be upon you. Amen. And if you are part of the body of Christ and someone tells you or advises you and tell, come to you and say, the Lord is calling me to establish my own church. So get out of this church with me and let's go do it. Please don't do it. If you are in a church and due to whatever reason, the Spirit of God ministers to you to leave that church, then you do so, but not because someone who is establishing his church is telling you to quit the church that both of you were in due to probably some misunderstanding because of money issue, because most time it's because of money issue. Some associate pastors and elders and whatever their titles or position may be due to money, some due to greediness for money, covetousness for money. They will get out, say the Lord, claiming the Lord want them to establish their own ministry. And not only are they living, they are living with half the congregation. That is very unrighteous. It's unrighteousness. It's wrong. And that will not inherit the kingdom of God. With that being said, my name is Saint Grace. I was part of a great church called the Church of Pentecost. And the Lord has called me out to do for an assignment to do something for him. I made my district pastor aware of my assignment outside. 
and in this church i was a deaconess a deaconess and also the district sunday school leader and so in accordance with the word of god and the spirit of god that is in me to live peacefully though i told the man of god the leader in that district i had to also officially put it in writing and take it to the presbytery the presbytery of the church the, the entire leadership of that district and let them know what the lord is calling me out to do because I'm living peacefully. I'm, I haven't called any church member to discuss anything with them, to come with me or anything of that sort. The Lord Jesus is not calling me to do that. And so, if you can look at my screen here, I had a letter written and addressed to the presbytery stating that I write this officially to inform this great church my resignation of all positions I've held. I hand over the Dickness, Dickness position and the district children's leadership position. Also to inform you all that I am living peacefully to pursue the special assignment given to me by the Lord Jesus Christ. I have not created any discord among the body of Christ as I believe God detests or hates anyone who causes confusion in the family of God, according to Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 to 19. As I, as I live peacefully, I seek the blessings of this great church, as I would love to always visit and feel at home. I pray the church would not portray me as a black sheep, which members should avoid, for I am not leaving this church out of anger or any evil intentions. It has been a great honor and sincere pleasure serving in this great church. I believe we shall all meet in heaven someday. And then I wrote sincerely. And then my full name, Rosalind Grace Abanko, made servant of the Lord Jesus. And that is for or was for the presbytery of the district of the local where I belong to. Beloved, this is the manner that if the Lord is calling you to do something, you get out peacefully. You get out peacefully, not creating any chaos or anything. When you read the book of Acts, there came a time where the apostle Paul and uh, Barabbas, Barnabas, they had to go their separate ways. It was never recorded that the Apostle Paul, you know, wrote in any of his letters blasting or talking evil about Barnabas or whatever it is the Lord used him to do. And so most times when people exit a ministry or a church, even if they exit peacefully, you know, you 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 will hear wicked and negative comments and information so to make this publicly known to all who listen to me who watch me who believe in the ministry the lord has given to me i was part of this great church the lord has called me out i have not left any church member having uh, created any discord or anything of that sort in that ministry so just in case you hear anything about my name or anything they are tagging me with that i'm preaching falsehood whatever it is let the spirit of god in you in your heart in your body speak to you and be a man of God or a woman of God who, who who will always discern and will never dwell on negativity. That you will not dwell on negativity because we are all part of the body of Christ. Some are 
the hand, somehow the nose, the eye. But we are all working to meet at the center point in heaven. So, in heaven, the only name that is there is saint. Jesus is going to say, well done, good and faithful servant. So, belonging to this church or that church really doesn't matter to God than your personal relationship with him. And don't you have it if it's already been ingrained to you that belonging to this church or that church will take you to heaven. Your personal relationship that you will build with Christ Jesus will take you to heaven. That fruit of the Spirit that you will bear, that the Spirit of God in you will testify to the Father in heaven that you are his child, will take you to heaven. So this is just a short uh, chat that this is the latest development. So if you hear my name anywhere, tag with any negativity. As a man of God, as a woman of God, discern with the Spirit of God to know the truth for yourself. May God bless all of us. And I pray that together we will all make heaven. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.